Lord, you have searched me and have known me. Psalms 139, verse 1. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord, for my brothers and sisters. I thank you for this time together with them. I thank you, Lord God, that we are made complete in you. And I'd ask, Holy Spirit, that you would just minister to us that point today, that we are complete in you. And I thank you for this word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. <laughs> over you life. I feel like this is a newscast. <laughs> Glory to God. I just declare over you health and peace. And enjoy the Lord as your strength. And you are made complete and whole in Christ. Not because of anything you could ever do or I could ever do, but because of what Jesus has done and who He is. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were created by Him. Glory to God. Lord. And that Him is Jesus. We are made complete and whole in Him. And uh, I just want to praise Him this morning. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace, and I praise you for who you are, one of my brothers, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because <laughs> the gospel is life. The gospel brings peace. And I thank you for that. And I thank you for the book of Psalms. That, that we can go there at times when we need to be shown that we're complete. If we just pick up passages like that, that's enough. You have searched me and have known me. Oh, David said, you have searched me and you've known me. You know my heart. Glory. I'm made complete in you. And we have to believe that. That we're not less than, that we're more than conquerors because of Jesus. Glory to God. And I need your prayers throughout the next couple of weeks. I really do. That the Lord will give me a good word because I've been asked to teach it at, at uh, my church again. And uh, it looks like there might be a couple of times that I'm going to be uh, standing at the pulpit here real soon. And... Uh, I, I just, I need backing, I need backing, I need prayer, <laughs> if the Lord would just give me a word, I mean, it could just be me praying about this, but I believe, Lord God, that, that you'll raise intercessors up on my behalf, in Jesus' name, glory, and uh, we are made complete in Christ, we're, we, we, we go from glory to glory, we're being chipped, we're being molded, we're being shaped, we're being built. <laughs> Glory. It's not just an experience. It's the complete package. <laughs> Glory to God. Um, and this morning my definition of complete is having all necessary or normal parts, components, or steps entire. Entirely entired. <laughs> Retired, no. Entired, yes entire having the whole package and uh, in Ephesians 2 10 it says for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared before him that we should walk in them who are we we're complete who made us complete Jesus Created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. That's who we are. We are His workmanship. His workmanship. Glory. Praise the Lord. Let that soak in. Just let that minister to your spirit right now that you're complete in Jesus. We're not complete in ourselves. We're not complete in our surroundings. We're not complete in the things that we can see. We're completed in the one that we see by faith from our heart. Glory to God. He loves us so. Glory. And uh, in Psalms 139, verses 2 through 10, it says, You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path. Am I lying down and are acquainted with all my ways? Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in, 
behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall, where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. You, you, you suppose that when David meditated on who he was in the Lord, that it, that it was like a dam being ready to burst, or, you know, that the surge there, the spirit was just surging forward, and it was about ready to overwhelm him. I mean, I mean, it was, he didn't even have a complete picture, yet he knew. He didn't see Jesus. He hadn't saw Jesus. It was hundreds of years before Jesus. But he had a kingdom mindset. He knew who he was in the Lord. And, and how often do we, do we take the time to consider, to meditate, to, to chew on, to think about who we are in our God. Such things are too wonderful. That knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I can't attain it. But we have a better covenant than he did. We, we, we know about Jesus. We know about the Spirit of God. He knew about, he walked in the revelation that he had, yet his revelation was deeper than most. And, and even today, his revelation about who God is, a righteous God, so far surpasses anybody's knowledge of today. We have a little glimpse. He walked in it. He walked. He was a man of faith. He was a man after God's own heart. He did mighty exploits in the name of the Lord. And the Lord opened doors and paths for him. And, and, and if he did it for David, don't you think he would do it for us? Don't you think? If David saw how complete he was in him, in God, not in himself, but in God, how much are we completed in, in God? Why don't we see those things? How come we don't walk in those things? Well, for one, <laughs> we live in a culture that has a Greek mindset. <laughs> Show me the proof. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> you know? it's uh, I got a hypothesis. <laughs> But you can't prove it. Faith, faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of the things unseen. And, and David had a faith that God, such things are too wonderful for me. They're going to make me explode. You know, I, I walk every day. And just, just a little fragment every day, I see something that the Lord's doing, not only in my life, but in other people's lives. And uh, right now, I would have to say at my work and my job, there's more peace in more people than I've ever seen it. And, and, and it's not because of anything that anybody's necessarily doing, although I do play worship music when I'm in my department. On Saturdays, I don't work in my department. I work out throughout the store. So... Uh, I don't play worship music because there's somebody else in my department. But uh, the thing is, is, is the praise and worship's been going forth for a couple of years now, and it's beginning to manifest itself around. You don't always see these things all at once. We don't see ourselves as completed at, at once. I didn't come back to the Lord and say, oh, I'm a complete whole being. It's just coming from glory to glory. But I am more complete today than I was yesterday because of Jesus. Glory to God. And that's the way it can be for you. You just
just have to come into agreement with his word and believe by faith that he's changing you from glory to glory and you're becoming a more complete picture of who Jesus is. And that when people see you, they see the spirit of the living God, they see Jesus. And that changes the atmosphere. And not only is it changing in my work, but it's changing in my wife's work. It's changing in this, this area. And, and, and this area was a depressed area a couple years ago. But it's becoming alive. God's remaking it. He's making it more of a complete area to live. Glory. Now on the outside, I will grant you that you might not see that, but if you've been here for any length of time and you get to know people, you're going to see the change. I've been here for 20 years. Almost 21. Wow. 21 years and Never mind. But uh, over the years, just the past little while, I've been beginning to see it change. Not just because of what I'm doing, but because of what other people are doing. Because God's raising up intercessors. He's raising up prophets. He's raising up teachers. He's raising up evangelists. He's raising up apostles. And uh, He's raising up men and women who are after His heart. And they're walking strong and they're beginning to see themselves as a complete picture like David's psalm. <laughs> I could probably go on and on about this. Praise the Lord. And in Galatians 4, 4 through 7, it says, But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that they might receive adoption as sons. And because you are a son... God has sent the Spirit of God in, or the God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. That's a complete picture. We're sons, we're daughters, we're children. We're heirs. We're heirs of the promise that He made to Abraham. We are an heir of the promise. And, you know, we just have to believe that we're made complete. That's all. Just believe. And in John chapter 6, I'm not going to look up the exact verse. Uh, Jesus, they, they asked Jesus, what are the works that we must do? <laughs> and Jesus replies to him, the works you must do is believe in him. And the one he sent. Believe in him. Who's him? The Father. And the one he sent. Who's, who's, who was sent? That, that word sent means apostle. That uh, means sent one. It was Jesus. You have to believe on the Father and you have to believe on Jesus. That's all. That's the only work you'll ever have to do for your salvation. The rest are good works. Good works. Four good works were created in Christ Jesus. Four good works. And I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me on the blog this morning. I just want to bless your day. Bless you. Thank you, Lord God, for my brothers and sisters again. Thank you, Lord, for this word. And I ask, Lord God, that you would just speak life into our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Show us how complete we are. <coughs> yep, 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 yep. Y'all, y'all, me now. See, I got black tuners on there. <laughs> and let's see if we can see it. I don't think we can see it. Nope, you can't see them because they're black. <laughs> Just try to tone the guitar down just a little bit. <clears throat> new tuners and new, new bridge pins. Oh, I got my trusty broken pick here. Well, what's that sound? <laughs> what was that sound?
sounds from this day here. <laughs> Trying to bend the strings. Be alone with him. Praise him for who he is. Get back on track here. Praise him for who he is. out in faith and worship him. They who worship the Father must worship him in the Spirit and truth. Everything that we do should be through faith. And when we do things by faith, it pleases the Lord. Without faith, there is no pleasing God. Without saying, yes, I agree and I believe, there is no pleasing the Lord. You're doing it for religious reasons or to be seen or whatever. Stop. It's not pleasing to the Father. It's not pleasing to Jesus. And it's not pleasing to the Holy Spirit. And I believe I need to tell somebody this this morning that whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Don't do it for your own glory. Don't do it for your own vain glory and pride. Try to fill it and make it happen. Just allow it to happen. You know, tree, a fruit tree doesn't just produce fruit because it wants to produce fruit. Fruit just happens. It doesn't force itself to produce fruit. And neither can you. And I just want to say have a good day. <laughs>